All right now this is going to require a little bit more on the front end of this as far as the steps are concerned so notice on this time you just don't have cotangent of theta equals negative four three fourths you got three times that All right, so we got this three there in front. Now, so basically what, what you have to do when you have other stuff is you have to isolate this. Okay, so how would I isolate? I just divide by three. No big deal. So we're going to get cotangent of theta equals. Now, how would we do negative three-fourths divided by three? You know, multiply by times one-third. Right, so the threes would cancel. And so that would give you what negative one fourth. Okay, so now what do we do? We do the inverse cotangent of negative one fourth, but there's a problem with that. Right, we don't have a cotangent button, do we? All right, so how can we get around? And the same thing would be true for secant. Change it to tangent. Okay, so if the cotangent is negative one over four. The tangent would just be the reciprocal, which would be negative 4. And so that's what I'm going to write in because I got a tangent button. Okay, so now let's punch in inverse tan of negative 4. So inverse tangent. Okay, now I got a problem with that again. It's negative, so we need to add 2 pi. All right, so plus. 2 pi, so it's about 4.6. Let's think about it. I can answer how we're going to get it. Now, on my unit circle, where is tangent second and fourth, right? So, let's see. This one, I think, is going to be in the fourth, right? So, let's see. Let's label it real quick. This is 1.573. 4.7 to get the 4.96 you step on your calculator do inverse 4 okay so this angle that's 4.71 so 4.96 would 